Hello, my name is Dr Fiona Mead and I'm an igneous petrologist at the School of Geographical and Earth Sciences in the University of Glasgow. Igneous petrology is a branch of geology or earth science and focuses on the rocks formed in volcanic systems. The earth is made of a series of layers, the core, the mantle and the crust. Melting of the mantle produces magmas that travel up through the crust and erupt on the surface, forming volcanoes. Typically, magma stalls and ponds within the crust several times before it reaches the surface. This allows the magma to interact with the metamorphic and sedimentary rocks that form the Earth's crust. The magma is hotter than 1000 degrees Celsius and so melts or partial melts these surrounding rocks. This crustal melt mixes with the magma and changes its bulk chemistry, a process we call crustal contamination. Minerals, such as plagioclase felspar, crystallise as the magma cools. Over time it grows progressive zones of various composition, reflecting the changing magma chemistry, and so preserves a record of crustal contamination, like tree rings record their climate of growth. My work focuses on Scotland's most recent volcanism, which formed 60 million years ago in relation to the opening of the North Atlantic Ocean. These volcanoes are long since extinct, but erosion means that their plumbing systems are now exposed at the surface, meaning we can explore ancient magma chambers right here in Scotland in areas such as the Isles of Mull, Rum and Skye. The Scottish crust is particularly thick. That means that these magmas have had ample opportunity for crustal contamination to occur on their path to the surface. I use strontium, neodymium and lead isotopes to chemically track the effects of crustal contamination. This is possible because the crust and the mantle are very isotopically distinct. And indeed within the crust itself, individual lithologies are different from each other. Therefore we can chemically trace the magma's interaction with the variety of crustal rock types it meets on its way to the surface. My research begins with field mapping and sample collection. I then chemically analyse the samples using mass spectrometers to calculate the strontium, neodymium and lead isotopic ratios. Technology now exists that, using a microdrill, we can drill out and chemically fingerprint individual feldspar zones on a scale of microns. In the crystal shown, each drill track is only 50 microns across. This precise microanalysis allows us to characterise the crustal contaminant as well as the depth at which contamination occurred. Together, these analyses allow us to build a picture of the structure of the crust beneath the volcano. This type of work is important for several reasons. Physically drilling into the crust is an expensive process, costing tens of millions of pounds. And indeed, it's practically impossible to drill right to the mantle. Therefore, volcanoes act as virtual drills, a bottom-up chemical probe of the crust, providing information vital to our understanding of the Earth's makeup. Secondly, crustal contamination is a very important process at active volcanoes. It can make a magma more explosive or indeed trigger an eruption itself. Therefore, understanding this process is fundamental to hazard mitigation in densely populated volcanic regions. Our dissected Scottish volcanoes provide a window into these violent and complex volcanic systems and further our knowledge of how volcanoes actually work.